Hi, I'm Carrie Corbett Owen, and welcome to my weekly reading of my latest book, Your Body Song 18 Minutes to Health Happiness and Longevity. For those following along, we're on page 65. Stress changes your biology. Our consciousness regulates our autonomic nervous system, composed of the parasympathetic and the sympathetic systems. The parasympathetic system is in control any time we're in a state of ease. That is when our body is in what I think of as a state of thrival. And our body song is producing positive health notes, maintaining, repairing, renewing, and upregulating healthy genes while downregulating disease prone ones. The sympathetic nervous system is triggered any time we are in a state of stress, it shunts our body from thrival to survival mode to take care of whatever threat is at hand. As Dr. Bruce Lipton says, your biological conductor can only be in survival or rest and repair mode. It can't be in both at the same time. When your body is taking care of a tiger about to spring on you, it will shut down all your vital body processes, your immune system, digestive, and so on. And then send that energy instead to your legs and arms to prepare you for escape from the threat of that tiger. What determines whether our body is in renewal or protection mode? Based on our previously stored database of information that has been assigned survival values to situations, it is our perceptions of what we need to fear. For example, one child learns that the world isn't a safe place, and this becomes his subconscious programming. It's his basic filter through which he interprets happenings in his world. Another child grows up believing the world is a safe place and interprets her happenings accordingly. The underlying base notes, as determined by the biology of their beliefs, that have been added to each of their body songs are thus very different from one another because the subconscious is always playing in the background. The consciousness of different kinds of stress. There are three kinds of stress and not all stress is bad. The consciousness of challenge. This kind of stress motivates and challenges you to achieve goals and experience a sense of mastery that is good for your body. It's when your mind song lacks novelty and being challenged this is the kind of exciting challenge I experience when I stand in front of an audience to deliver a keynote address or present a body song code training to companies. My body song is literally playing a merry Mozart. You'll find that centenarians thrive on this consciousness of challenge, some in big ways, others in smaller. Think of Robert our centenarian record-setting cyclist, or Jean Calmet, who took up fencing at the age of 90. Consciousness of physical threat. This is an acute, relatively short-term stress our bodies are designed to handle. Our physiology responds with sweaty palms, shallowed breathing, a speeded up heart rate, you might get prickles under your armpits or on your hands. But you're in survival mode only for a short time. Once the threat has passed, your body returns to its previous state of homeostasis. It's the kind of stress I've experienced when a car swings unexpectedly into my lane. Loud alarm notes played for a short time. Richard Murray Mortar is a professor of biology and a director of the Rice Institute for Biomedical Research at Northwestern University. He studies how organisms respond to stress at a molecular and cellular level and how these responses influence the genetic pathways of cell growth and cell death. 
Richard says that a little stress is good for cellular health and longevity. Both challenge and short-term physical threats are good kinds of stress. Mild stress at a cellular level is interpreted by cells as a survival strategy that enhances resilience to stress, protects aging cells, and delays the risk for disease by preventing damaged proteins common in many diseases like Alzheimer's. Consciousness of chronic stress. This is the kind of chronic underlying distress caused by an ongoing emotional state of tension, pressure, or strain. It's what psychologist and author Dr. Rick Hansen describes as paper tiger stress. This is the kind of stress I was creating in that high-powered managerial position through my anxiety to perform at the highest level, way beyond a mere challenge. By shunting my body into extreme survival mode for extended periods of time, my blood vessels were constricted and my levels of cortisol were persistently raised. I looked and felt old. My body song was producing dark funeral dirge notes. I didn't realize how bad it was until one day I was so stressed I couldn't remember my very own email address. You can order my book from Amazon by clicking on the link below and then come and join me for these ongoing readings.